What is going on, y'all? Today we actually got some multiverses leaks. Well, not really leaks, because multiverses posted them themselves. Uh, but they posted some teasers, I guess, more uh, what's going to come with Season 1 of multiverses here. As you can already see on the screen here, I'm on Twitter. Uh, this is a screenshot of the first 10 tiers of their Battle Pass. Uh, and it looks like you get Jason in it. So the way to get Jason is to go buy the Battle Pass. I'm sure you don't have to. I'm sure he'll be able to uh, be just per purchable on his own. That's not a word. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to buy them on his own as well, um, but you know, it'll probably be the same price. Why not? I'm assuming this battle pass will be like 10 bucks, uh, just like every other game out there. Uh, I need to get Jason, and we know uh, the second tier here looks like maybe a banner, and then we get like maybe a sticker, and then emoji maybe, and then that looks like some type of currency, which we'll get to in here in a second. Uh, and then maybe more currency, emoji, emoji, currency, and then that's a milestone thing, which we don't really know much about. Um, but it says a Hulk and Bruiser with some shocking abilities to move around the battlefield. Jason is here to make every day Friday the 13th. So oh, that's W W bars weather terrifying his opponents with his empty stare or his deadly machete. He's running to be the multiverse's worst nightmare. So not only do we get the first um, 10 tiers of the battle pass here, we actually got the description for Jason, which is kind of cool. So we can maybe kind of learn about his moveset here. Uh, so it looks like, you know, he'll have the machete, obviously, we kind of knew that, so it looks like he's going to be close counters, maybe kind of like Bugs Bunny Hammer or something, right, uh, where you're just going to have to get close and go up and down, I'm assuming, um, but it looks like he can actually do something with this stare, I'm not sure if it's going to, like, scare them, I think it'll be kind of cool if, like, you press a button where you stare at somebody, maybe it, like, slows them down or something, you know what I mean, or makes them run away, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, but apparently there's going to be something that maybe scares the enemies by the description there. You know, it says, you know, ter terrifying his opponents with this empty stare. Uh, so that's two things we know about him. I'm sure there's obviously going to be a lot more moves and combos with him. But just off the description there, we know the machete and the deadly scare. So two things with him there. Um, but not only did we get this battle pass, uh, first of all, we get to see, um, the menu here right we got home we got fighters we got battle pass we got events we got missions we got store and in careers so we actually get to see that as well well let me move my face cam okay so you see currency up there which i'm about to talk about so give me one second i'm gonna go to their currency page and we're gonna talk about that all right so here's the currency uh post here that they posted and it looks like there's four different types of currency in this game perk fighter prestige and glimian uh we're gonna start with the perk currency and I, uh, for this currency, you use it to get in-game perks. Kind of makes sense with the name there. Uh, so it looks like that's the currency you're gonna need to um, upgrade your perks um, or get more perks for your fighter. I'm assuming, I'm guessing. And how to gain is just by events, rift mode gameplay, battle pass, account mastery, or character mastery. So the more you play a character, you uh, get more of this currency, which you know assumes you upgrade their perks. That makes sense. And I guess look by reading it, we'll get some of this currency in a battle pass, which is another reason why you should probably get this battle pass now the second currency we have here is the fighter currency um you, for this currency this is what you use to unlock characters so like if you want to go buy the jason or joker or agent smith coming out this is the currency you're going to need to go get them on how to gain events rift mode gameplay battle pass account mastery or character mastery the same exact uh way to gain the perk currency so uh, that's pretty cool um so all you have to do is really just play the game master your uh your characters and you get some of these and from the battle pass another reason to get the battle pass i'm telling y'all the battle pass is going to be big i know sometimes people are you know 50 50 on battle passes but this battle pass looks like it's going to have a lot of stuff i mean we already know we get jason automatically so that's one good reason there uh so our third currency here is called prestige and uh to use it you, you use this to unlock exclusive prestige cosmetics uh so you know this is you know the currency we're going to use i assume uh to get the like the special costume that normal costume the prestige costume so i'm assuming once you prestige a certain character uh right that's the, the only way to get that skin is the prestige them. you use this uh it's this little special outfit like one could be maybe the black wonder woman outfit we see in the trailer that could be maybe her prestige outfit there like a bad guy version her dark version of her uh that would be pretty cool and that's her prestige skin um so how to gain you just have to acquire cosmetics so I guess if you buy outfits, you get this. I didn't. I didn't. That's kind of weird. Uh, and in our last currency here, Glimian. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. 
uh, but you use this on cosmetics, emotes, battle pass, and more. So this looks like the, the basic currency, like this is their money, right? This is, you know, all the other stuff are special stuff, but like, you know, how Fortnite has V-Bucks, you know what I mean? Uh, this is their V-Bucks, uh, which is uh, Glimmy in here. So this is how you're gonna buy skins uh, for characters. You want emotes, uh, you wanna buy, if you wanna buy the battle pass, this is the currency you're gonna need. And how to gain is from events, Oh, battle pass and direct purchase obviously literally just spending actual money uh battle pass we assumed um we're gonna get some of this in the battle pass and events which is pretty cool and i'm, I'm assuming events are free so you can actually get like real currency just from actually playing the game which is pretty dope so yeah multiverses has four different currency in here so we got a few stuff that's the only thing they posted right now uh the first 10 tiers of the battle pass and then these four currency uh might only be two different things but i feel like it's still a lot and we learned a lot here so I'm uh, super excited here uh, for this game. Like I said, I'll definitely be doing content on this game. So if y'all want to see some multiverses content from me, just hit that sub button. I'll definitely be posting. I think it comes out Monday here. So coming out here in like four or five days, uh, we're almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to try to master all the characters, man. Maybe we'll make a series mastering uh, each character and making it uh, multiple parts. That'll be fun. And we'll definitely be trying to master Jason, though. That's who I'm most excited to try out is Jason and Joker. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm excited to go try out Velma and Shaggy again and uh, Batman and, and all that. But I I really want to try out joker and jason very badly and all the new characters they release um once the game comes out i'm, I'm assuming they're gonna release a character like once a month i would hope i know that might sound greedy but that's what i would want but we'll see what they do but yeah we, so we got a lot we, we learned a lot today uh got more battle pass more currency y'all enjoyed this video drop a like um subscribe if you're new and i'll catch y'all in the next one <laughs>